Going on to you, Aries. So you have the the Devil, Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, right? The Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, Three of Cups, the Temperance, and the Six of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. So for you, Aries, um. Uh, some of you Aries may need a little bit of, of help right now trying to figure out why it is that you should date why you should continue and why is it why why is it that you know you really want to what is there to be learned okay that's easy so the devil the queen of swords and the nine of pentacles right this is about how some of you Aries may be a little bit down because of the, the difficulties that you've had to deal with. Listen, you Aries are bringing this mentality in with you everywhere you go, and you're going to have to learn to let it go. And the reason why I'm saying that is because, again, learn the lessons from the past, the difficulties that you've had to deal with, but at the same time, don't attach emotional attachments onto it the way that you used to learn just learn the lessons but in essence move learn to move forward with your life because what happens when you attach so much of an emotional attachment onto a lesson you end up getting super emotional and you end up overthinking about the past and how to correct the future and the present and that can end up causing that can end up being more bad than good to you for your own self because the devil represents you being trapped the queen of swords represents you know having to get back at or defend yourself from something the nine of pentacles represents you know um you know trying to be preoccupied trying to make yourself some of you try to make yourself seem more important by you know distracting yourselves from you know love and stuff like this you ain't got to do any of that. All What all of that is going to do is just make you being happier with yourself and potentially finding somebody else worse. But we need to begin with self-love. So the Four of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles represents a lot of, let's face it, you Aries want to be in a relationship. That's the first thing that a lot of you need to come to grips with with yourselves. A lot of you want to be in a relationship and there's nothing wrong with that. But the thing about it is the difficulties that you've had, sometimes you feel like the whole world is against you, even though that's not really the case. So like I said before, what you have to do is find someone who wants to, to four of wands, wants to do this with you, sit out there in the moonlight, wants to do all that romantic stuff with you tells you that they love you, wants to be in a relationship with you, you have to find someone who wants to do that. Knight of Pentacles, you have to find someone that wants to listen to what it is that you have to say. So you Aries have to become a better judge of character. It's not enough to just date people. As you're dating people, you want to be able to understand what trajectory or, or get to the bottom of if they're a decent person, depending on what you're looking for, very soon. Most of the times, if you're very good at listening, you can learn about someone's nature or someone's character within the first coming up on 24 hours, the first day. And if you're really good, you can really understand what type of character they have within an hour. And when that person shows you those, those types of uh scenarios those types of blockages those types of dysfunctions what you aries are supposed to do is don't date them don't take them in it don't date them right it's one thing if they denounce that and that truly is a thing of the past right that's okay then you can potentially give those people a try but if those people say that they're on that they've done that in the past and it still appears like they're on nonsense then obviously once it, once it is that you've learned enough about these people, you can ghost them or you can tell them that you don't want to talk to them again or you can ghost them if that's what you want to do, right? 
just so that you don't have to deal with the, the nonsense. But the Five of Swords now represents, right? The Five of Swords represents, but if you go into this thing, if you keep approaching people, or, or I should say, living with this type of mentality, this type of an emotional response, you should not be having emotional responses. You should be able to, you Aries are smart. Y'all should be able to know how to interact with conflict as well as convenient interactions easily. So the Five of Swords represents what will happen for you Aries is that what will happen for you Aries is that you Aries will start to get rejected by people because the way that you interact with others, it's like, it's like this. Three of Cups, it's like this. Five of Swords, you don't want to talk to them. Three of Cups, you know, you, you want to be in a relationship, but you, you so over, you so precautious to the point where people don't want to be with that. People don't want to hang around that. People don't, you know what I'm saying? People don't want to hang around that. People won't want to continue to get to know you. You want to be the temperance. You want to be enticing. You want to make sure that when people leave you, when they leave your presence, they have a good taste in their mouth. They 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 feel good about actually being around you and interacting with you. You actually provide value. You actually contribute value to their lives. And that is what is so important. Not just receiving value, because a lot of people don't want to give value, but not just receiving value, right? Having people do things for you, but for you to also offer up value in exchange, to find something that has value of yourself and to contribute it, of course, with your own discernment, right? Don't let people use you, of course. And that is how it is that you're one of the ways in which you'll get people to gravitate towards you, to keep talking to you, to want to get to know you. And more and more and more people will approach you. More and more people will interact with you. But then at the same time, if you approach it from uh, this perspective, if you approach it from the Queen of Swords perspective, if you approach it from the Devil's perspective, of course that's not going to work. Because people are going to be like, because because wholesome people who are honest about getting to know you are going to try to approach you and they're going to be like, why is it that you, you know, you going so hard and it's and the way that it comes off, you doing too much. You're actually the villain of the story. You are because they're being honest with you. You Aries are being grimy with them. So it looks like y'all, y'all are the ones that's all over the place. No, you don't want to do that. The Six of Pentacles and the, the Nine of Cups represents what you Aries want to do to help solve that problem is be the, the, uh, the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. You contribute what you've got. Contribute what you've got at your own discernment. You ain't got to give everything in the world to these people or to anybody. You don't have to give everything up all at once. Of course, you're supposed to give those those things in different stages right in different elements in your life as you grow with the person and the two of you learn each other and you learn to have a deeper appreciation but the nine of cups and that obviously will work out even when it seems like it doesn't really work out it it nine of cups it does doesn't have a choice but to work out because the people who are interested in bsing and wasting your time that's what it is that they're known for, BSing and wasting time. Those weirdos aren't around you, so you win either way. So let's clarify the um, let's clarify the temperance. So to clarify the temperance, it's hot. You have the uh, Seven of Swords, the uh, Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords, and then you have the Page of Swords. So to clarify the, the temperance. The Seven of Swords represents because this is also going to create much more of a difficult time if you were to actually approach people like that or have people approach you. That that That's not going to make any sense. It'll make it more difficult than what it has to be. The Ace of Swords and the Nine of Swords represents what it is that you want to do is you want to be discerning of these people. 
You want to be discerning of the page of swords. These people who just want to come in and just want to use you. But you have to be able to identify character better 